Hello YouTube, it's the Brick Adjuster here with another monthly room tour for the month of May 2016. New this month, we have a modified Sydney Opera House. We have some custom Lego minifigures from Walking Dead. And we have a new addition to Smalley World, Wave 2. So here we go, enjoy! Here is a new set this month and this is my modified Sydney Opera House which I have tiled all up. And I have my micro sig figs over here. Some more micro sig figs over there. And then some more micro sig figs on the back over here. So it's gonna be up here for a while. I don't know if I can have this Sydney Opera House in the basement. And if I get Big Ben, Hopefully Big Ben could be at the back there, on the back side of this. We'll see if everything can fit. Also new this month are my Walking Dead minifigures from Eclipse Graphics. So I have them up here with my WV camper van and my Mini Cooper and my Mini Mini Cooper and my Mini Camper van. There's a nice setup there. I've also added to my Alien Army, so here are all my stitches. A bunch of them there and some aliens from Toy Story plus all my other aliens that I have from different series and Exo Force as well. This is a new section to Smalley World where now I have a Ferris wheel, we have some spinning rides over here, we have swan rides and we have go-karts and this is Smalley World, plus it's all motorized now. So with all the motors in the background there. Lazy River and some more rides there. Here's part of Smallville and the other part of Smallville is packed up now. But I'll be bringing it to the next convention. Here is my Sig Fig Bridge and I have some more new additions to my Sig Fig Bridge that I got from Philly Brickfest. Plus these here are my sig figs that are going down into their dark age. Here are some cool torsos I got from Philly Brickfest as well. Plus a couple more Rocky Awards. One is from uh, Big T for the superhero and one I got for the micro, micro scale build. These small ones are from Brickfest Toronto. Here is a portrait that Dan Solo Galleries made for myself and the Brick Sapper. Here is a family portrait also made from Dan Solo Galleries. I also got this of certain sig figs from Dan Solo. And this is Mount Sigmore. This here is my Batman setup. So I got the Bat Cave over here with the classic Batmobile. And over here we have the Arkham Asylum with all my bad guys as well, all hanging out. And over here is Jokerland and the Funhouse Escape. So this is pretty cool with all my superhero setup. Keeping along the lines of superheroes, we have the UCS Tumblr here with a bunch of Batman variants in the back. Some more Batman vehicles over here as well. And then up here we have the UCS Helicarrier. With a little micro figure there. I can't remember where I got that from. Oh, I think it's from the Statue of Liberty from the New York set. And over here are some Avengers. That's from Toys R Us. Here we have some more minifigures, Marvel minifigures. We got DC Justice League minifigures over there. And over there, Superman and Supergirl. Man of Steel sets over here. We got Spider-Man in the back with the Daily Bugle. Over here we got Guardians of the Galaxy with big modified Groot. Here is X-Men. And over here is Marvel, some more Marvel minifigures. Let's zoom in. And you can see the Marvel characters there. And over here. Focus with Shield, the Avenge Tower, 
Here is the Simpsons setup. So I got the Quickie Mart, I got the Simpsons house, and then just a bunch of mini figures of Simpsons from Springfield, all just hanging out. Here is my Heart Lake Bat Cave. It's a mock that I made. And there's some detail in the back, but I don't want to flip it around. I made a video of it. And there is my white tumbler. Over here is my Wizard of Oz scene, micro scale. And over here. And over here. And over here is my Ducky Momo with the duck family. And that is my Cloud Cuckoo Land. Let me zoom in. So here are all my Disney CMF figures in Cloud Cuckoo Land. Eventually if we get um, Cinderella's Castle, I can put these mini figures here. Plus I have a bunch of my Cheshire Cats. Just being inconspicuous. Plus a Cheshire Cat over here. Brick Zapper likes the Cheshire Cats. Here are my Lego Architecture sets. All the ones that I have, well all the ones that are out right now. Hopefully I will soon get the Buckingham Palace and the Capital, I can't remember, Capital City. But these are all the ones that are out right now. Well some are retired actually. Over here is a mock of Metal Beard Sea Cow that I made for the Lego movie. And here is the big Metal Beard Sea Cow as well. And then we got Benny's spaceship tucked in behind. And we got the double decker couch, expanded double decker couch. And micro double decker couch. Some more Lego Movie sets. We got Emmett's Constructo Mech with all my construction workers in the front here. In the back we have my garbage man with my garbage can army. And over here are just some cleaners. And then we have my, what are these called again? Micromanagers. The micromanagers with Vitruvius chasing Emmett and Wild Style. Over here from LEGO Dimensions. That's from LEGO Dimensions as well. Here is my Uni Kitty army. All the different variants. I wonder if we'll be getting more with the new movie. And then here are some bad cops. And this is Lord Business's Evil Lair. Here are all my super secret police guys with the vehicles in the background. So I like this scene too. This is my space army. So all the classic spacemen that I have. I know there's more. Eventually I want to get the green one like that. With the, with the half torso. Forget what that's called. And then we got some astronauts there. And that um, Canadian flag is a design from JK Brickworks. The same JK Brickworks that made this one. The Lego Ideas Maze. Which is a fun game. Here is my Galaxy Squad sets that I have that I like. So I still have them built. And here we got some Nexo Knights, Robin. And then down here is Jurassic World. So a bunch of dinosaurs and just the mini figures from Jurassic World. And that's a mock that I have in the back. It's gonna be part of my Lego ideas. Here are some micro Minecraft sets. Again, they're still built. We already took apart the minifigure scale, but that is a minifigure from the minifigure scale. That is not Lego, but it's there. And that's from monthly mini builds. And over here we have pirate chess set, which is cool. And down here a couple cars. We got the cool car there, cool cruiser I think. Ferrari and just a highway speedster. Here's another mock I made. So it is kind of a modification really of the Lego Ideas Big Bang Theory set. So I just made the whole apartment. Here is Justice League mock, Micro Justice League. And then we got 
Ghostbusters over here, Micro Ghostbusters Portal 2 with some Lego Dimensions and Doctor Who over here. Here we have Micro Scooby-Doo Back to the Future Simpsons. This is just a Land Before Time mock with some dinosaurs. And over there is a Star Wars mock. And over here is another Star Wars mock. This is my Angry Birds scene. The Angry Birds movie just came out and the boys actually liked it. I haven't seen it yet. With Redbird and Matilda and Bomb. So that is the pirate ship there and another set. We don't have all the sets, just some. Here is my Harry Potter scene with a bunch of Harry Potter minifigures mixed in with some random wizards and witches like that. That's a random wizard and some random witches over here. Plus we got Maleficent over here. And I think there's another, yep, there's another Maleficent over there. And we got the Weasley clan in the front. But that is a cool uh, Hogwarts scene. Here is my expanded Parisian restaurant where I just took two Parisian restaurants and just made it bigger. This here is my fire brigade and here is my modified palace cinema where I turned the corner building into a side building with an indent where we have just the characters all just hanging out. And then here we have the pet shop and we got the um, detective's office with the barbershop and the barbershop quartet over there. And we got the brick bank coming along to this side as well, the brick bank with the thief on top. Over here is my hot dog person army with the sharks behind, a couple chickens over there. And that's a uh, mock. Bob's Kebab Stand with just some more buildings in the back, some crater buildings. And I got two more modified sets here. I got my expanded Grand Emporium and my expanded Town Hall, which kind of makes the Ghostbusters HQ look short, even though it is a big set. Ghostbusters HQ is actually my biggest Lego set. But this is a custom Slimer that I got from Down Under Bricks. Those are the Ghostbusters there. And soon we'll be getting another Ecto-1 for the new movie coming out so I can have them side by side, which will be cool. Here's another mock. This is my Micro Tower of Orthanc, right beside Mike's um, UCS Tower of Orthanc, not expanded. Just a regular Tower of War thing there. And over here we got Smaug just patrolling the Lonely Mountain with the Black Gate in front and just other characters from Middle Earth. Here's another Lord of the Rings set. This is the Ghost Pirate Ship. It's a pirate ship. And over here we have Lake Town some Lake Town sets here and then we just have some more Lord of the Rings sets we got the Fellowship of the Rings up front and in the back we have Attack on Weathertop we have Gol Golgador Golgador can't pronounce it forget the forget the pronunciation of it Golgador Golgador yeah and over here we got the Mirkwood Spiders Unexpected Gathering right here. And then we got the wards, which are very cool animals. I like me some wargs. We got another warg there. Another warg over here. Over here is the barrel escape. So some elves. And we got the goblin. Goblin King, who is kind of knocked over. There we go. Golden King is back on his throne. Here is my western scene. 
So these are just a bunch of Lone Ranger sets mixed in with some Lego Movie Western sets. So that is that. Coming over this way, we have my monster fighter scene. So I got the haunted house over here with just some creepy, ghouly characters just hanging out in the front. We got some monster fighters here. And over here we have the vampire castle. With just some mad scientists doing some work there in the back. And then over here we have Pharaoh's Quest. So this cool looking pyramid. And we got the cobra over here and the Sphinx over there. Here we have some Prince of Persia minifigures. There we got Rubric over there. And over here we have some Indiana Jones minifigures with some Johnny Thunder minifigures as well. These are my Pirates of the Caribbean sets with just some collectible minifigures. So I got a king and a queen over there. I got some knights. I think that's Knights Kingdom 2. And coming over this way are some more Pirates of the Caribbean characters. Blackbeard. Here is my house under renovation with all just the renovating guys all just taking care of business. Over here is my treehouse with all the costume characters. I guess we'll be getting a penguin soon. So we can add the penguin to this bunch. Over here are my clowns and court jesters. Eventually I'll get Jestro and I can add Jestro to these guys. Or maybe the new Harley Quinn as well. I didn't think about that. And then over here we have my jocks. So the jock house. All the athletes all just ready to do some sports. Maybe one day I'll also have the soccer players from the new German, a German collectible minifigures. And over here is my cool kids house. So all the musicians, the rockers, we got Brittany and Paris over here, and we got the skateboarders, and the pizza guys delivering pizza to this house. And here is my beach scene. So all the surfers just hanging out. Oh, someone's missing a hat. And down here as well. These are my winter village sets. So I got the cottage over here. We got the cat lady with all the kitty cats. And coming over this way, we have... Ooh, I wonder if I can motorize this. Interesting. Interesting idea. And then we got some more winter village sets there for this little carnival. And then coming this way, we have some more. We got the toy shop, we got the bakery, we got the mail, the mail shop, the mail room, the mail house. Oh, the panda bear. Who put that there? And we got a Christmas tree over here, some skating. And then, oh, more Duplo guys. This is my expanded Santa's workshop. So I took two Santa's workshops and just made it bigger. Plus, a uh, normal size sleigh now with all the reindeers with Rudolph. Rudolph in the front. Here is my expanded Ewok Village, my favorite Lego set of all time mixed in with other Endor sets but this is a majestically huge set now with some vehicles in the back there we got some stormtroopers over here we got a Wookiee gunship over there and just some more different clones we got some of the what are these called Chewbacca guys Wookiees Wookiees down here we have the UCS Sandcrawler 
Another great looking Lego set with my astromech droids, some Jawas, some more droids. Here is Mos Eisley's Cantina with an MTT in the back. And we got a land, land speeder. Here's Jabba's Palace with the Rancor Pit underneath. Another land speeder there. And some more Sith Troopers. Over here we got Jabba's Sail Barge. This is a mock I made of the um, Superstar Destroyer crashing into the sand. We got some bounty hunters and pirates. Some more bounty hunters there. Over here is my Genosian scene with all my clone troopers. Over there. And here is my Hoth scene. Not the new UCS Hoth, but just the other set mixed in with other sets. Down here is Tokodona. I think I said that right, Bogadana. And we got the Rebel ship in the back. We got Ray Speeder there. Here's another mock I made from Force Awakens. And this is my spoiler alert mock as well. And then we got some ships over here. Not sure how long these ships will last before I take them apart. I'll probably keep the, um, the Y-Wing though. I like the Y-Wing. Not sure about the A-Wing. Here is the UCS Death Star, a very cool looking set with a lot of minifigures mixed in there. We have some pilots, rebel pilots, and we got an escape pod over there and uh, advanced TIE fighter. Down here are some more ships. Not sure again how long those will last before I take them apart. Those are there. And over here we have some more ships. I'll probably keep these ones, the big ones. I like the big ships. There. Yeah. And that's a cool one as well. And then coming down, some more big vehicles. And some pod racers, which is a little crookedy. Yeah. And then down here we got an X Wing. Again, everything's saying crookedy. People are pushing things over. We got the older Millennium Falcon, the Ghost, Slave One. And then down here, again, are some more Star Wars ships. And again, I'm not sure how long they will last before I take them apart as well. Keep them for the parts. Here is my Sith army. And the new one would be Captain Phasma is new. I got that from No More Bricks. And oh, this guy's new, the First Order officer. But these are all the different Sith guys that I have. And then coming this way is my Jedi army. I don't think there's any new Jedis here. But eventually I can add someone if I get some new Star Wars sets. And over here is my UCS B-Wing mixed in with some Mardi Gras and swag. I got some chrome keychains. These are from Brickset and Brickfet Toronto. Brickfet Toronto. And just some more Star Wars minifigures. Someone's a missing a head. A snow speeder and a Valentine set in the back. And then over here, we got the UCS R2-D2. And we got an AT-AT with again, some more minifigures, some advent calendar minifigures, and celebration, and some more droids that look like R2, I mean, uh, C-3PO. Up here we have the UCS Superstar Destroyer, another huge Lego set that I have no room for so it's just stashed up there. Here are some more minifigures. And then we got the UCS Imperial Shuttle and the UCS Slave 1, two great looking Lego sets as well. Here is my Ninjago scene 
So we got some mechs over here with temples. And then down here is my Temple of Air Jitsu, another great looking set with my micro custom mock of um, Temple of Air Jitsu, micro scale. Here is an outdoor scene. We got the log cabin and we got the mountain hut, two mountain huts. So that's that. Here's my Tim Tam the Whale, my Viet Cong Whale mock. It's not much of a mock, it's just a hat that I added. And then we got some more Harry Potter sets here. The Horizon Express and Jeffrey the Giraffe. Here is a Technic set that we have. This is the MK2 Crane. It's actually Big T's, but we do have some Technic. These are some Lego idea sets. So we got the birds and the research institute. Over here we got the exo, exo suit. Here we have Doctor Who with some Daleks. And we got Wally over there with study. There are the minifigures from the Ghostbusters. This is Back to the Future with some Lego Dimensions Back to the Future. Mars Rover, Minecraft, and the Hayabusa set. Here are some Ninjago minifigures that I have. Just some different variants. And here as well. And there as well. And over here we have some Toy Story with some more Toy Story and Ninjago in the back. And some more Toy Story. And we have some SpongeBob with some Simpsons in the back. And some more SpongeBob. And more SpongeBob with some Ninja Turtle minifigures. And up here we have superheroes. So we got some Marvel characters here. Some more Marvel up here, and then DC. So lots of room for extras, because actually I took some out, and I put them in different scenes. And then we got some Chima. Can't forget the Chima. So these are all the different Chima minifigures that I have, mixed in with some Lego Dimension Chima as well. But lots of Chima, weird. Actually, I do like the Chima minifigures, they're cute. Everyone seems to want to bag Chima, but... So it looks like an army, an army of minifigures. So this concludes this LEGO room tour for today. This is the Brick Adjuster signing off. Thanks for watching and we will see you guys in another video. Bye!